In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po muli dito sa Basilica. To prepare ourselves to offer the holy sacrifice to the Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the seat for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in our unfailing health of mind and body. May we be set free from the present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Jehoiada, the princess of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash, and the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem, although prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord. The people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, Why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, He has abandoned you. But they conspired against Him, and at the king's order, they stoned Him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus, King Joash was unmindful of the devotion shown him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came up against Joash. They, invited, they invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers. So punishment was meted out to Joash. After the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering, his servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity 
and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his posterity endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law, and walk not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes, and keep not my command commands. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with a rod, and their guilt with stripes. Yet my mercy I will not take from him, nor will I belie my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> No one can serve two masters. He will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what will you wear? Is not life more than food and body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into the barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not, are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment of your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin, but I tell you that that none, that not even Solomon in his all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, so do not worry and say, what are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear? All these are pagan sick. Your Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But, first, uh, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for the day is your own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat, pati na po yung sumasubabay sa ating live streaming sa kanilang mga pamamahay. Itong mga nakarang araw, toto po, napakaganda ng mga ng sinasabi sa Banghelyo ng pagtuturo ng Panginoon kung paano tayo magiging masaya sa ating buhay hindi lamang sa harap ng Diyos, pati na sa ating mga kasamahan. Hindi tayo masyadong anxious sa lahat ng mga bagay, gaya ang parasang maghahapon. Hindi masama na mag-ipon ka kahit na hindi mo madadala sa langit. As long as you, pagkikinabangan yan, and most of all, may isi-share mo sa iba. Ganun lang naman. Ako, simple, no? 
Mare natin gawin yun. Ngunit karamihan, eh, nagdadalawang isip pa tayo. Ngunit yung turong yun, napaganda. Dapat gawin ng tao, no? Ginagawa ng tao para maging masaya. Hindi lamang sila, pati na yung tumatanggap na anumang biyaya na naishare natin. At ngayon naman, <laughs> ito yung matindi, no? Tukol sa pinaproblema natin, pag-aalala. No? Pag-aalala ko ano mangyayari next day, no? Tomorrow. Napakalinaw ng sagot ng Panginoon, hayaan niyo muna ang tomorrow. You concentrate on today. You prepare for tomorrow. Kasi kadalasan, naalala ko tuloy yung classmate ko. Siya may father, sa hirap ang buhay ngayon, tatlong college ko. Paano ko siya mapapatapos? Hanggang sa ganyang patas ang patas lahat. Alam <laughs> na, wala tayong tinatag, wala tayong ganun, tumataas. Pero sabi ko, pero sabi niya, siya rin na naman ang sumagot. Yung tinatanong niya. Sabi ko, kayo, ilang kayo mga kapatid? Walo. Naisip kaya ng parents mo nung panahon nila, ang ito, ganitong bagay, walo. And yet, kita nyo, walo na dyan kayo lahat, nakasurvive. Kahit na naiisip nila, how, 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 how? May mga paraan. Kaya nga sabi natin, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Iyon ang isang bagay na dapat nating unahin bago tayo matabunan o malunod itong mga anxieties na sinasa, hindi lamang itong example sa gospel, kundi sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Proven po talaga, stress tayong lahat. Walang libre. Lumuwag-luwag na nga yung, ano, yung pandemic. Yet, pinag-aawayan pa rin magsuot ng face mask. Eh, wala akong sa masasabi niya. Sabihin natin na, nung, kung kumbaga nung una, kita natin na, Tagang balisang balisa tayong lumabas. Ngayon nakakalabas na tayo, parang ganun pa rin ang problema natin, no? Pero dapat yung isipin, yung nga sabi ng Panginoon, if you want to enjoy your life here on earth, do not compile all those problems. Huwag mong pahirapan ang sarili mo, ang iyong utak. Totoo. Totoo naman talaga. Gaya, for example, sa ako, diabetic for how many years, Every three months, magre-report sa doktor. Pagdating naman doon sa doktor, alam ko nang sasagot. Pero <laughs> ano, iisipin ko, parang ulang nangyayari, no? Naalala ko tayo sabi ng doktor, nung unang-unang dalaw ko, Father, kahit na kay single, companions mo yan, true life, tanggapin mo yan. Hindi yan nakikita. Hindi mo sabi. O yung diabetes ko, nandun sa sugar sa... Hindi, kung saka mahina, nandun ang diabetes. No, yun ang insipid ng mga diabetes. Katanggapin nyo nandyan. Kaya, kahit na sabi natin, alam ko na, ang sasabihin naman ng doktor. Ngunit yung sinasabi naman, kung pakikinggan mo, ay mabuti. Sasabihin niya, Father, papayat kayo. Kasi kung mababa ang tema ko, lumolobo naman ako. <laughs> Tumatanda na siguro. Yun ang... Iren- ang ang generation namin, ang mga ko, parang madang buhala. Kaya sa pagtumatanda rin nga, eh, ganun din sigurang nangyayari sa, sa katawan, no? Kaya ang mga, sa, mga bagay na hindi natin mas, sa, kaya pinapalalahan sa atin sa gospel, yun ang kaiwasan natin. Hindi man, nandiyan na talaga yan. Kailangan salbungin natin, gumawa ng paraan, sapat merong paraan kung bibigyan lang natin ng time na pag-isipan. Hindi tayo basta patatalo o sabi ko malulunod. Isa mga problema yun. Pasamakat, pasamantala lamang yan. Sabi na may iba, yung very pessimistic sa buhay, hindi yun ito, Father. Talaga namang itong paghihirap na nangyari. Wala naman nagdi-deny na hindi tayo naghihirap. Hindi naman wala naman nagdi-deny na walang taong walang problema. Kahit ang sando pa pa ba, nakikita sa TV, may problema lang siya. Paano glumakad, no? Kaya nasa wheelchair, no? Kita niya? Kaya yung mga bagay na, siyempre, natatakot ka rin, no? Hindi naman tayo sabi, Sige God, kunin mo na ako. Meron ba sa inyong ganun? Wala. 
Kahit ang represent sa atin, kumisyan nga, sabi ko sa kaedan ko, o oh, mas, mas bata pa sa akin, no? natatakot ba kayong pumunta sa langit? Father, hindi pa time kung pwede. Hindi naman ko Diyos, no? Kahit ako ganun din, no? May magagawa pa ba ako? Siyempre, huwag niyo isipin na wala kayong magagawa. Napakaraming bagay, anumang kondisyon niyo sa buhay na sa tingin ng iba. Eh, kawawang kawawa ka na, wala ka ng silbi. May magagawa po kayo. Tingnan niyo mabuti, no? Kumisa, nanonood ako ng TV news lang sa gabi kasi masyadong malamok dito pag gabi. Kita niyo yung isang PWD since birth yata na may palsy may, may palsy celeb ay yung ganda ng sakit no imagine ang ganda nung ginagawa niya yung pagdo-drawing sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga paa hindi nga makapagsila baluktot pero im remarkable no yun ang biyayan binigay sa kanya sa Dios hindi siya nung alam niya yung may sakit siya ganun sana to maluna lang ako sa sa bangin para tapos na ang paghihir hindi kaya nga hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari bukas Ngunit ang buhas sa iyon ay napaghahandaan. At, at kung ang paghahanda natin ay maganda, maliwalas, magbubunga yan ng maliwalas sa iyo. Manuwala kayo, no? Kaya nga kami saan, gaya nung machismis ako, yung meron akong kaklase na dumalaw. Padre, teacher ako ngayon. Ang saya-saya pala, maging isang teacher. Ngayong retired na ako. Sabi ko, bakit? Hindi na nga ako nagtuturo, pero meron akong naging scholar. Ang binibigay ko lang naman sa kanya, baon, no? Kasi nakita ko ang pamilya na, may maka, kahit na baon lang makakatulong yon, no? Imagine, siyang naging magna kum laude na hindi ko naranasan na yun, na minimiti ko siguro nung nag-aaral para kumangin teacher. So what a blessing. Hindi lang magsusumpa sa kanya. Ang saya-saya niya, no? Nung kapapatisyar na nagkikwento ng ganun. Ang sarap ng feeling daw. Na yun, siguro ang pinakamimiti niya rin nung bata pa siya. Ngunit, hindi din nangyari. Ngunit, maaari yung mangyari sapagat may ginawa siya. Yun ang katumbas. Na magandang ginawa mo, kaya may pamamaraan na gagantihan ka ng Diyos. Kaya sa iyon paalala sa atin, don't, hindi natin kinakaw ng Diyos. Mas marunong sa atin ang Diyos. Alam ng Diyos kung anong tama. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo bibigyan ng Diyos na something na masama. Isipin nyo na, kung hindi kung masama yun, demonyo ro yun, sabi ng isang pare. No? Laging kabutihan ang itinatanim sa puso sa atin ng Diyos. Kaya patatagin na niyo yun. Hindi lamang tayo paniniwala at higit sa lahat, gawin po natin. At siguro nung hindi mo natin sabihin na kailan ba tayo akit sa langit o sa impyerno, sabi na gano'n, huwag mo munang isipin yun. No? Kung anong nangyayari yun, may mga paraan. Sabi ko nga, gaya nitong mga nakaraw, napakaganda ng turo ng Panginoon kung paano maging matiwasay ang pamumuhay ng isang tao. Paano yung pangangalagaan, yung hindi lamang yung kanyang sarili, kung anong mga ginagawa niya. Hindi lamang para sa kanya, at higit sila, laging may karutong. <laughs> you try to share that with others. Sa kapat, isa yun sa pinaka maligayang parte sa buhay ng tao o sa mata ng Diyos. No? Nakagagawa tayo ng mabuti sa iba na walang ganipala. Kaya nga sabi ko, kahit nga sabi namin, Father, surti nyo. Misa lang misa nyo. Napakagandang gawain niya. Siya po. Hanggang ganun lang. Hindi <laughs> misa misa. Hindi yung nakikita ko misa. Tagilid na kaming maglakad. No? Pero okay lang. Part yun ang service namin. Yun ang part ng trabaho namin. Habang nakamulat pa kami. Gagawin namin yun. Yan sinumpaan namin. So ganun kayo. Kung anong estado yun sa buhay, gawin nyo. Kahit na maraming bloggers, bashers, no? Wala na pong libre ngayon, mga trolls. Wala tayo tinotrolls, no? Ngunit, sabi mo, walang ilagay mo sa mahin mo, pansamantala lang yan, walang magawa sa buhay. Yan. At pinagpatuloy mo yung mag- mabuting asal, no? Siguradong sigurado po ako, no? 
na hindi lamang tayo masaya kapag tayo ay bago matulog. Higit sa lahat, alam natin na nagampanan natin ng mabuti yung dapat natin gawin sa araw-araw. Magsitayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, the gospel calls us to be single-minded in our service to God. May our prayers to the Father express that quality of trust and devotion. After its petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may devote themselves tirelessly to the furthering of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize the need to show care and concern for the poor and the needy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in complete submission to the will of God and never become anxious concerning matters that are not worth worrying about, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may experience the love of God through the compassion of those who care for life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's victory over death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of these months. God our Father, we trust in you. May we never set our hearts on material things, but on your loving providence. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine we work with human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, 
Through Christ our oh Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be your co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Per Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na humihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o umiwas sa anumang sakit. Idamay na rin po natin yung nasa ating mga pamamahay, lalong-lalo na po yung mga senior citizen. Mahirap pong mag-travel sa Manawag. <laughs> Hindi lamang mahirap ang transportasyon. Napakainit pa po, ano? So, nakakarating po yan sa kanila. Pag kayo makakilala yung nasa ospital, na nga humingi ng tulo ng dasal, eh, wala mo, 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 napakaganda po yon Nakakarating yun sa kanila. Salamat po. At ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. The Lord, uh, let us pray. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our prayer team. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries in other religious articles. If you have them with you, just bring them out. Wag na po kayong lalapit dito. Diyan lang po kayo sa lugar niyo, lalapit yung mga ministers. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 